a little 10 second podcast. You know, oh, okay. Like script thingy. Um, since that was you were witnessing the opening of the yeah, crate. This, <laughs> this was This was, this first got delivered here. I don't know if it was a dead body or something. I had no oh, God, idea. Like and my assistant apparently knew what was in it, and I asked, and she would not tell me. She didn't. She said, I'm not telling. And so I didn't have time to open it because I didn't have power tools to open the, this box that came to my office. It very, very well dead, doesn't it? <laughs> you ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> The Saturn V, the mightiest rocket ever launched. This, and only this, is the only piece of hardware to ever take humans to another world. The space shuttle, of which I have several here. There's like another one over there. This is cool, it's cool, okay. But this goes into Earth orbit. You're still attached to the Earth. This thing gets you off of Earth, into space, to another world. <laughs> oh, you're not really good at. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that. Stand next to him. Put your arm around your body, right? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is it heavy? It's not heavy. It's my rocket. <laughs> yes, it's heavy, but it doesn't matter. It's the Saturn V rocket. Oh, my God. Are we clear? Now, just so you understand, you don't, I don't think you understand how big this is. See these, see these rocket nozzles at the bottom? There are five of them, hence the Saturn V. Right. There are five of these. You would be about this tall standing next to them. Next to one of them. Yes. Oh, wow. I, I should draw a little homunculus and put him down here. Okay? <laughs> homunculus, that's sort of natural history talk for a little man. Okay? It would be right down here. A six foot tall person would come up to maybe the second rung, leaving Earth takes fuel and you can't refuel in space because there's no gas stations in space so any fuel you're going to burn you have to bring with you which means the weight of the fuel you haven't burned yet requires fuel to bring that weight into space for you in other words this entire rocket is nothing but fuel okay everything up to this point okay all of this is fuel and where are the three astronauts, the Apollo astronauts? They're in this little capsule right here. And this is the only thing that comes back from the moon. Okay, this is gone because that's the escape tower. This comes back, and this is now at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., the Apollo 11 capsule that went to the moon and came back. So at $4 a gallon, how much does this cost? $4 a gallon? Uh, this <laughs> so at the pump, what are we looking at here? This probably burns, I, I don't know the exact numbers, but it's probably the thousands of gallons per second that it burns to get you up, off the, probably more than that actually, given what this thing is. So I, I submit to you that this is the crowning achievement of human ingenuity and the fulfillment of dreams in the history of what it is to be human. And you have a model in your office. <laughs> Ignition sequence, fire. <laughs> we have liftoff. We have liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. <laughs> Apollo 11 to the moon.